Hi, I'm Victoria McLean and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today I am talking figurines. Um, I have some that have been in a box for ages and I haven't opened them until today. So if you'd like to see what new figures I have today, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring Hogwarts to you, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that all important notification bell as well. Let's get started. <gasps> So in celebration of the New York store opening on Thursday, congratulations Warner Brothers for such a fantastic looking shop. Um, I am using my exclusive beautiful golden snitch wand that is only available from the New York store. How beautiful is that? absolutely stunning and did you know that you can get the ones that you choose personalized to you as well if any of you have done this I would love to hear from you because I want to know what it's like the shop looks exquisite I can't wait to go obviously being in the UK we cannot go over there yet because of coronavirus that blooming virus but things are getting better for work purposes you can go abroad um, but uh, unfortunately for leisure purposes you cannot sadly so if you would like to see what's inside these boxes then let's take a look now I'm not a fan of Harry Potter dolls. I've never been a fan of Harry Potter dolls. The only one that I've really liked are the Star Race figures. If you haven't seen me unbox those then you need to check out my playlist because I'm sure there is a whole playlist dedicated to me unboxing Star Race because I'm partnered with them so I'm very lucky. But I've got my Harry Potter collector's handbook here which on the front displays the Tonna dolls. Now uh, yeah they look creepy. Does anybody else agree with me? They look creepy. Maybe it's because of films like Annabelle, um, Chucky, uh, what else? Poltergeist, you know, things like that, that where I've, I love horror films, um, but things like that where dolls kind of don't really do it for me. But in the fantastic collector's handbook, you have the Tonner dolls, all the Tonner dolls that are displayed. Now, I mentioned Tonner dolls because these are the ones that are incredibly collectible and uh, stupidly high in value. I think the Hermione down here in her beautiful Yule Ball dress goes for between four and six hundred pounds, sometimes more. Now this is 11 years old and even here it says 150 to 175 dollars but I would say it values from between five and seven hundred dollars now in 2021. But we have Creature. I've never seen one for sale but they did a Creature doll. Uh, absolutely, I love Creature. They also did a fantastic Luna Lovegood. Now, some of these are very nice, like the Creature, like Hermione in her beautiful dress, and obviously we have Luna in her costume. Dobby, I just find him incredibly creepy in this picture. Uh, Bellatrix looks wonderful, however, she looks more like a dark-haired Barbie, um, but I think the Star Ace ones are far better. Now, the ones that I have to show you, oh, hang on, we've got a Dumbledore, we've got a Ron in his horrific your ball outfit Voldemort who looks tiny compared to Ron um uh, but Dumbledore yeah I, again I prefer the Star Ace Deluxe figure myself and I bought that one myself now if things like Star Ace are a little bit out of your price range which to be fair they are to many people including myself I have to really save up for them. You can get figurines like the Eagle Moss figurines. Now they do a fantastic array. I have Newt as well. Newt and uh, the Ockamy were sent to me by my friend Jordan. So thank you very much, darling. I've put Newt somewhere during tidying up. Cannot find him. He will show up. He's somewhere, but I can't find him right now. Typical, isn't it? But you can obviously get Lord Voldemort, Harry and Hedwig, Professor Dumbledore, a Dementor, Newt Scamander, uh, a Niffler, which I have literally just bought this morning, and this beautiful Ockamy, which I think, I'm not sure, but I'm sure you could get a bigger version of this 
um, I have seen this sort of style with a bigger bigger version so these are very nice but they're more kind of ornamental than dolls again I say the word dolls it's like I don't know does anybody else agree with me um, that the word dolls just kind of speaks paranormal <laughs> really weird I know now these figures I'm about to show you are from a company called Star Action Figures. They were actually founded by Adam, my husband, and it was this entire set for £29. So I'm not a fan of, massive fan of dolls. Dolls. I think I'm going to have to say it with like dolls. Um, you know, dolls. But uh, I'm not a massive fan of them, uh, of, of dolls, but for £29, I can't go wrong with these. So as I said, I have, I have four. So for £29, all four of these were delivered. I don't know if you're still able to get them for this price, but I know the figurines themselves are still available. Now these are from McFarlane Toys and there are four to collect including Buckbeak. I didn't see Buckbeak. Hmm. Now this is the first time I've actually taken them out of the box. So as in out of the box. Now before I show you what they are, figures are pretty interesting because you can get the ones that are in the, uh, is it the bubble packaging where it's sealed? And I have quite a few of those because over the years when you first start collecting you, you're kind of getting into a, a rhythm of what you like. So I did kind of collect them. Some of them are very rare, some of them are quite common. I did get quite a few different ones, including some incredibly rare ones, which are all in the attic, otherwise I would show you. And I, as you know, I have, I have over 7,000 items. I cannot keep everything downstairs or, or even upstairs um, for display purposes, unless I have my own museum. If anybody wants to fund me for a museum, then please just, you know, let me know and I'll, I'll marry you, I'll divorce Adam and marry you. <laughs> kidding darling uh, but, uh, but yeah I, I love the kind of the look of them but the bubble packaging ones are incredibly hard to display and you can't take them out without devaluing them because once you break the bubble packaging bubble packaging bubble packaging bubble pa I bet the Weasley twins would love to say that 10 times fast but instead of taking them out of the bubble packaging it's incredibly difficult for you to be able to display them so these however toner dolls are like that toner dolls you can take out of the box I think that's another reason why they're so popular and again with the eagle moss they're boxed so you can take them out of the packaging these ones I have to show you are incredibly well incredibly are the same so we we have four figures here all for 29 pound for all four of them so the first one I'm going to show you is Lord Voldemort so and he comes with Nargini so we have a Lord Voldemort here now he seems quite cool um, and obviously we've got the other figures at the back there that I'm going to show you soon but the good thing about these is you can open them now Adam was telling me uh, there's figures that he gets star because he's a big star wars collector he doesn't have a big collection but what he collects is very nice the figures that the, the black series figures with star wars they're very popular because you can take them out of the packaging and display them so without damaging the packaging so you could or you can put them back in the packaging and have them like they've never been opened so what i do like about these is the window is nice and big for you to be able to see but as you can see behind this awful person and his once was beautiful person you have the barrier the protection barrier of hogwarts being broken but you can close that and have it like it was never opened which is very nice now when it comes to collecting keep your packaging i have told you this time and time again keep your packaging okay it's imperative that you keep it now with all the pieces of lord voldemort okay these little kind of ties there's not much you can do about these so you're just gonna have to cut them but this bubble like casing inside please don't throw it away because if you have something that's like this that will increase in value you have to keep the packaging because if you don't it loses its value collectors serious collectors like to have everything as it was so this is 
Voldemort. He's, uh, oh my God, you can undo his costume. Why would you want to undo his costume? It's Velcro. You don't want to see underneath Voldemort. My God, seeing him as a baby was scary, scary enough. Uh, he's articulated, which is good, which means he's poseable. Adam is so good at posing them. I secretly think, right, he had his own dolls collection when he was little. Bearing in mind he had a Star Wars collection, so you can give him points for that. But you can see, right, you see my, uh, my, uh, Crimes of Grindelwald, Gallant Grindelwald there, and my Newt Scamander there. He posed them, okay, and he posed them in such a way that they look like they're actually moving he's so good at it honestly i don't bother anymore i just leave him to do it it's great so this is uh let's take let's take Nar let's take him out shall we anyone else find it weird that nargini is 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 actually that beautiful lady from crimes of grindelwald but, but when you when you manipulate her she looks like she's being cut in half okay sorry didn't mean to kind of you know twist your head around 360 degrees well it was only an owl that could do that so i watched um the conjuring the devil made me do it last week oh my god it was so good so good it's not as good as the first one but then nothing's gonna beat the first one but it was it was better than the nun um and i the nun the nun was all right I can't see me watching that again. He's even got his wand, which I won't take out. Okay, his wand is like there because it's tiny. All right, so Voldemort goes on his little stand. Uh, yeah, Are you all right? Yeah, you okay? Yeah, uh, killed anyone lately? Don't answer that. It's fine. Um, hmm. Yeah, well, he's right-handed. That's a good start. So. I don't know. I mean, for 27 or well, 29 pound, whatever it was, he's not bad. And then you've got Nargini. So they're not, you know, they're, oh God, he looks whiter than white there, doesn't he? He looks like he's been, ta been tangoed, been covered in Tipex. I, it's, they're not bad. They're for the price. What is it? I probably paid what? Maybe about seven pound 50 each. So that's, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. I'm not quite sure what these little, Oh, okay, those are bracky things. Really? Oh, is it to like help them stand up a bit better? All right. Okay. Why didn't they just make a stand that worked? Now, Adam has been using um, star action figures for a long time. He says they're brilliant. If ever there's a problem, they're very quick to deal with it. So I will put all the links down below for you. I don't know if they ship worldwide. They might just ship in the UK. These were UK shipped. I don't know. So next one we're going to open now. Oh, God. You have to put this one together as well. It's great. It's really great. You can tell I loved puzzles when I was a kid. I mean, I did like puzzles, but, you know. Um, so anyway, this is Harry. He looks okay. So we're looking at Harry from Deathly Hallows Part 2, I'd say, with the, the Doe Patronus. No, the Stag Patronus, sorry. I know, slap my wrist. The antlers are on, not on yet. So for a split second, I thought Doe. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're going to give this one a go now. Oh my God, Ron looks like... Oh, actually, from the angle, he looked just weird. Um, yeah, okay, it's fine. So on the back of this one, you've got uh, undesirable number one posters, which are all over the Wizarding World in Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. Each character has their wand, so that's good. I think these stand things are really ridiculous, to be honest. The, 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 the bits of plastic that go on the back of the stand, I don't see why you need that. I mean, you guys might be watching this and think, actually... They're actually really nice. Well, that's fine. And they're not bad. It's the having to build them part that's annoying for me, personally. I like things where I take them out of the box, like the Ockermy, and they're done. That's a good thing for me. Ah, right, we do have a little bit of a snag here. No, we don't. How clever. 
they're plastic and yet you do screw them in that is genius oh no it's not these are incredibly hard to get in and i mean to the point where i may break this antler i've bent it anyway that does not look right for someone who's really had enough of having to build stuff at the moment last week the reason why i'm not doing my videos as much at the moment is because i have a new job now the job is still wizarding world related i can't tell you anything yet but unfortunately it means that my videos are going to have to be cut down to two a week instead of three but i've always been saying this i only did three a week for the beginning of covid and lockdown so i'm i am going to have to cut my videos down so my videos will be wednesday and saturday from now on but the reason being is i have a very important job again still harry potter related incredibly exciting very tiring very much social media related and official um pretty cool title and all that but i am working silly hours but because this will always be my number one job trying to get this stand out this will always be my number one job this job will always come first so there we have the stag <laughs> anyway so there we have the stag harry potter's figure but yes so when i can tell you my job i will tell you my job but at the moment it's still uh the early days of so when i'm when i'm given the go ahead to tell you i will but it's really exciting and i was very excited because i was headhunted for this job i'm obviously the best person for the job you know my knowledge of Harry Potter, my collecting skills. And at the end of the day, I am a massive Harry Potter fan. You know, I'm not one of these people that say they're a Harry Potter fan because it's what people expect. Harry Potter has been my absolute life for 20 plus years. It is everything to me. You know, I drive my family crazy. So, yeah, I'm definitely the right person for the job. Right, so we're trying to put Harry onto his stand. God, these things are so awkward. This is another reason why I'm not a massive fan of figures. They're just so freaking... Anyone got any glue? <sighs> he looks a bit punch. And his glasses are all skew if. Hands quite okay. Right, so Harry does look a bit hunch. Like this, you know. Um, so we have Harry. Doesn't look too bad, do you know what I mean? Doesn't look too bad at all. It's very pretty. So that's Harry. I'm going to pop him down because I've got a funny feeling he's not going to stay up by himself. Now let's go into Ron's box. I'm going to cut it open. As you can see, I'm having to cut these. So I clearly haven't been in them yet. Um, oh, I've just broke the thingy. It's fine. It's just the display piece. So another reason why I was actually so busy yes, uh, this week is because Janice forced me to buy shelves for my Harry Potter room, right? If you haven't seen my TikTok, yeah, cleaning up, tidying up, be like serious strop on I had, proper stroppy, um, tidying up my Harry Potter room because I've now got shelves everywhere all to display my stuff and just for more storage because I'm running out of room. So I really, really do love them. They're great to have, but I'm having to sort things out. Plus I now have to have my DVDs and Blu-rays on display because they were, if you haven't seen it, you need to check out my TikTok, right? I now have my Borgen and Burks cabinet there. So it looks really, really nice there. But it's just kind of, yeah, it's finding where everything's going to go because I just don't have any room. I can finally display my chessboard, my Noble Collection chessboard, which I've wanted to for ages. So 
everything's just a complete mess at the moment. So between my new job that started Monday and trying to sort this room out as well, it's been crazy. And sorting out the bedroom because the I need to kind of sort out all my shelving up there as well because I've got my I've got Adam's collection and my collection up there. Plus the front room's got our both our collections in. Um, and then obviously this room. So it's kind of a bit a bit crazy and the chair's kind of been pulled out a bit more now because I've got loads of stuff behind the chair for now until I can figure out what I'm doing. It will get there, it will get there. Spring cleaning uh, before summer, that's what it is. And I broke my spine candle, a piece of, massive piece of it fell off. Luckily I can buy another one, the spine candle. The, the spine candle I have is from the company who actually made the spine candles for Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, but they still make them. So that was bought two years ago. Um, it's huge, I, I would get it, but it's like the other side. It's about that big, it's massive. Um, it's really beautiful. And uh, maybe I'll do a, a sh I'll show on TikTok that candle, so check out my TikTok. But yeah, I've got, so I'm li just li literally just looking out. I've done all of my DVDs now and my Blu-rays. I've put all my books in, my books that were too, um, too big for the shelves behind me. They're now on my bookshelves, but some of them weigh so much that I had to readjust the shelves and readjust where I was displaying them all because they had to be displayed at the bottom shelf. Otherwise the shelves would have tipped. I'm like, oh my God. I am so kind of just like, yeah. My new job requires me to get up at three o'clock in the morning on weekdays, not for long because of the time scale, but uh, I'm exhausted, absolutely exhausted. Um, so yeah, I, 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 yeah, that's another reason why my video is being cut to two a week instead of three a week. Right, so we're looking at Ronald Billius Weasley. Behind his display is, looks like Hogsmeade in the snow. So... I'm not sure, Tom's, to, Tom's and something, I'm not sure what that is in the back of that, but that's his display, and then we have our Ronald with his, uh, is it Retriever, or is it a Labrador that he's got in his, his Patronus, so we've got his Patronus there, and he again is in his uh, Deathly Hallows Part 2 costume, which just looks so weird. He's got a very odd looking wand, but his face looks really good to be fair. So that's Ronald there. That's not bad at all, is it? For the for, for um, Deathly Hallows part two, that's quite accurate. I quite like that. It's Hermione company struggle with. So we're gonna have a good look at hers in a bit. So I might display these actually. Now I've got room, I might display them. They aren't actually that bad. It's just, I need Adam to display them, I do. I need him to kind of figure out how they're gonna stand and so on. Voldemort looks too small. So we have his retriever. Not sure what that's, what uh, what is, was. I think it's a Labrador. But we have his, his, his Patronus there, obviously. And then we have Ron, Ronald Weasley. We have Ron there. So they are very nice, actually. I think out of the three of them I've opened already, I like Harry's Stag Patronus, but I'm not keen on Harry. And I like Ron's figure and his Patronus. So the next one we're gonna look at now is Hermione. So let's open it and see what she's like. So behind Hermione, we have what looks like the Room of Requirements. So requirement. So that's Hermione's display background there. And you can, I think you can take them out. So you can take them out if you want to display them behind the character in your displays. That's quite a nice idea, isn't it? The fact that you're able to do that. And of course, Hermione's Patronus is an otter, which is JK Rowling's favorite creature. Now, obviously Hermione is dressed in Deathly Hallows part two attire. She doesn't actually look too bad. She's not bad at all. Her hair may be needing a bit to be a bit longer. But other than that, that's not a bad likeness. For something that's only cost me about seven pounds, you know. Obviously, if you really want good figures, then Star Ace is the one you need to get, personally. I think for me personally, the, the Tonadolls 
um, they look a little bit like Barbie dolls. Did you know, right, that they did a JK Rowling Barbie doll years and years ago? It is one of the most, the one of the rarest items to find in an entire Harry Potter collection. But they did a JK Rowling Barbie doll. I can't remember when it came out. It was a celebration of something. So we have a beautiful otter. Was it something like I read there was only five of those Barbie dolls released? Five? I could be wrong. I'm sure I looked it up. I mean, they're worth thousands of pounds now, so it's not going to be something I'll ever be able to get hold of. So we have the beautiful Otter Patronus and Hermione there. So that is the last one. That is actually a pretty good lightness, I think. Her eyebrows maybe need to be a little bit bigger, perhaps, because she did have big eyebrows. And the little kind of sideways smile that uh, Emma Watson uh, portrays. But, um, yeah, what did you think of them? I mean, you know, bearing in mind they're seven pound, around seven pound fifty each, if you buy the four together. But I think uh, if you buy them separately, they're about eleven or twelve pounds. So obviously, all of them together, you're saving quite a lot of money. So for twenty nine pound, I think they're worth it. I think they are worth it, considering they are figures, and I don't. But the Patronuses, if anything, are the best part of the box. They are really nice. Looking at them now, you can see them all behind me looking at them now. They're really lovely. So let me know in the comments below, what did you think of these figures? Which one was your favourite? Would you buy them? I would really love to know. And also with the Eagle Moss figures as well. Do you collect them? I know Janice is on about collecting them now. Um, because they are beautiful, but they are obviously, they're ceramics so they do break easily unfortunately uh, when i received voldemort voldemort had lost a foot and a hand um when they were first released years ago now when i was in the other room god that was that was a good three four years ago that was so let me know until next time take care i love you all and i will speak to you very very soon bye bye more of my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe